Hello Leo, I'm Murray Elaine and I have a special oracle reading for 2015. Before I get into the cards, I just want to say what better way to kick off 2015 than to spend some time writing a letter to the universe and putting into that letter what you would like to achieve during the incoming year. And so I've done a bit of research and the new moon that falls just before um, the start of 2015 is in December 22nd. So what I suggest you do is do what I do every year and just write a letter to the universe and really be clear about what you would like to achieve. Don't be real, be fanciful because the universe will give you exactly what you put your focus on. Remember that we are only one vibration away from you know the universe revealing to us what we really want. And when it doesn't come to us, it's because we're not a vibrational match to our desires. That's all it is. Okay, so now the cards. What I've got for you, I've broken them into themes. And the first one I'm going to talk about is the theme for love in 2015. And I'm calling upon these beautiful love mastery cards. And you've got create new agreements based on respect and love. And I'll just read the words on the back for you. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those who you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change that agreement and create a new one. Use your imagination to explore the possibilities. Okay, so, you know, use your loving relationships to reflect back what's really going on, and that's within you. Everybody around us is a mirror, including those who are closest to us. And really, you know, do some time contemplating about what you're getting from that relationship and you can change that by changing the way you feel about yourself. Because like I said, everybody just mirrors a part of you. So, awesome. Now, the next card I'm going to share with you is Prosperity and Abundance theme. And look what you've got. You've got the spider, which is all about creative projects. So you're going to be guided to tap into your cre creative ability and really start pursuing that what you really would like to do. Every one of us has some um, ability to create in some format, and it's just up here. We just tell ourselves we can't do it, or we don't, we can't sing, or I can't draw, or you know, there's always these reasons why we can't do something. Well, this card is a reminder to say you can just change what you're saying and you're believing, and have a go. So that's your um, your opportunity for creating new prosperity and abundance by tapping into your creative powers. And don't talk yourself out of something. Spend some time talking yourself into doing something. Okay, the next card I'm sharing is all about, you know, um, the overall theme for 2015. And you've got birth crystals. And it's all about, you know, creating really good foundations in 2015. So please take some time to really create wonderful intentions. Place them, put the letter under the pillow or put it out there to the universe. But really put your focus on achieving what you desire in 2015 because it will be reflected back to you. The next card I have is um, a theme for opportunity and growth. And what a powerful card you've got. It's opportunity beckons. But look at this image very carefully. This gentleman has his back turned on the world. So double-edged sword here. You have to be open to seeing opportunities. You have to be open to taking opportunities. And if you have your back or you're looking the wrong way, they will go past. So please use this card as a reminder to be open um, to seeing opportunities everywhere because it will open doors that you will be delighted when you take that action. And I'm really excited to share with you the final card in this reading for 2015 is your crystal ally card and what I'm suggesting is that you seek out this crystal when I reveal the card you carry it with you because it's um, a venturine and it's all about growth in 2015 so I think that you have wonderful opportunities to really create magic in 2015 but it comes down to you and your intentions and the action that you take and Remember my words, it's inspired action. If you're really excited, it, well, it, it can't go wrong. I'm so excited for you, really. So be excited, you know, look forward, look for opportunities, put some, down some really solid roots, tap into your creativity 
and you know look at your loving relationships and if you need to create new agreements do so but, oh what a wonderful reading i'm so excited for you thank you for the readings so far have been really wonderful enjoy 2015 remember the final say comes down to you and your beliefs and always believe in magic thank you very much bye